So one of the most valuable things that I think I've learned so far being new to farming is that you can seriously supercharge your crops just by using biochar. So today we'll talk about how we use it so we can really push the growth of our plants. God, I feel like I'm one of those finance bro channels. 10x your growth and get massive returns with these steps. <laughs> Right, so let's just clear one thing up real quick though. Biochar basically is just charcoal, but the key difference is actually how you use it. To be fair, slight difference with the burning process and the way that the end result actually looks, but overall pretty much the same thing. Regular charcoal is obviously used for stuff like cooking, whereas biochar is really all about soil improvement. And that's why it doesn't really have to be as high quality as other forms of charcoal, because you're not really using it as a fuel source. Alright, Megan, let's go. Ah, oh, Jesus. Honestly, you are too much sometimes. Right, so here's how we do it. Obviously, we are using bamboo, but you can use a similar process for wood as well. It just takes a lot longer to burn. Firstly, you want old and dry bamboo. It looks a lot more dusty and faded, while young bamboo is still bright green. Start by digging a pit that's kind of just under a foot deep. Nothing too fancy, it's just enough to contain the fire. Then we lay down the first layer of bamboo and light it. Once it's burning, we start layering more bamboo on top just before the lower layers turn to ash. Essentially, it limits the oxygen and prevents it from burning completely. The trick is just to watch for that first sign of white ash. That's when you actually add more bamboo on top. Keep repeating this process until you've got enough and then go ahead and douse it with water so you can stop the burn. Since bamboo burns faster than wood, we're usually done within a couple hours. Then after that, we just let it dry for a day or two. Quick disclaimer, I wouldn't say our process here is perfect per se, but it's been working for us. If you got any questions or suggestions, then leave it in the comments and I'll check it out. After we collect it, we crush it up and then sift it through a mesh sieve and that's it, you got biochar ready to go. You do still have to charge it to really complete the process, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Quick note though, I've got multiple products on the way at the minute, one involving a chainsaw and the other one involving a ton of dirt. <laughs> Both should be pretty interesting, so if you want to keep up with what we're doing here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. And yeah, more content coming real soon. So why bamboo instead of regular wood? I mean, for starters, it's literally everywhere here. <laughs> a lot of the time we just grab stuff that's already fallen down rather than cutting fresh ones. But even beyond that, bamboo biochar just holds more water and nutrients than wood does because it's more porous and has a higher surface area. So overall, it's just a better soil amendment. And that's essentially the mechanism that makes it so good for the plants. It's all about porosity. All these little tiny pockets inside the bamboo that hold the water and nutrients into the soil rather than letting them wash away. Plus, it's the perfect environment for beneficial microbes that help break down the soil and feed your plants. Right, but here's the catch. Remember I mentioned the phrase charging the charcoal earlier? Biochar itself doesn't really provide a ton of nutrients, it really just holds on to them. That's why you want to charge it first with something like manure or compost tea before you actually add it to the soil. Alright, think about it this way. When you do dishes, you use a sponge to clean them, right? But they're not actually going to get that clean without using soap. <laughs> the manure or compost tea that you use is the soap in this scenario. You put the two together and that's when it's actually useful. Honestly, using bamboo biochar has been an absolute game changer for our crops. It's easy to make, it doesn't require any special tools, and my family's been using it for so long that it's kind of just part of their regular routine now. Like, we literally put it in all of our plants. I'm still learning a lot about different farming techniques, but this is one that I just had to share because it's seriously just been that valuable for us. Anyways, I actually need to head off to the tax office. <laughs> so if you found this useful, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more of our homestead projects going on here, then hit the subscribe button. But for now, I'll catch you guys in the next one.